Yo, 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 what up, man? We are over at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival day two. It is Thursday, no, excuse me, it's Friday. It's a long ass line, people walking an hour away from where we parked. As you can see the line, look at this line. It just don't stop. It's just people after people after people. And um, you better get there early. Some tips, get here early if you want a parking spot. <laughs> we'll see how the show is though. here man we are finally in it wasn't that bad the walk sucked i'm not gonna lie it was like an hour walk but we are here and we're gonna venture hit the thumbs up button show that love and support yo this shit is a freak show and i'm a fucking freak so let's go in here lobotomy thrills chills and sometimes doctor bills now you gotta lick it before you stick it here we go you motherfuckers he can see you all night with those shades on right he's watching you motherfuckers and i think what charlie's saying is he's afraid some of you aren't having as much fun as you should be having and now i have to yell at you for it this is the war dance my friends i know we ain't never been to danville virginia before but maybe you've heard of it and if you're not down here in these weird sections, in these pits, if you're out there, if you're sitting on your lazy asses way up on the mountain, I don't give a fuck. Everybody gets up and everybody moves, okay, Blue Ridge? That's fucking bullshit. I said everybody moves, okay, Blue Ridge? Let's try it again. Come on.
Tiger Hughes. Shout out to DJ Dells. This Yo. is Tiger Hughes speaking right here. You just performed with Suicidal Tendencies. Yes, I was yes. I was telling you, I seen your dad perform with him back in the 90s, 96, right, right, man. Right, How right. does that feel you know, to rock a, out like that? It, it feels good, you know, um, you know, to let out the let out the you know, let out the steam, you know what I mean? And you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to keep up and work on my bass skills constantly. Dude, you're nice so, though, bro. Hey, 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 oh, how many shows have you done with them so far? Just the first one right here. Wow! Yeah, so. First show ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Historic. Yep. It's uh, you know we're trying. We're trying to I mean, that's historic. Your dad plays. Yeah, your dad started with them, man. I know. I know. It's crazy. My dad started with them. I, you know. But uh. Thank you, man. It's for your time, yeah. bro. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You can't bring me down! You can't bring me down! Get your fucking head in the air! In the next time you're getting knocked down, no matter who it is, what it is, the fuck you literally think it to me, you put that smile on your face and you say, motherfucker, you can't bring me down! Everybody jumps in the air. Let's go. Everybody jumps in the air. Let's go. Right now. Yo, we're in the middle of nowhere. I've never seen this in my life. This is tobacco fields. This is actual tobacco. Let me see what it smells like. It smells like nothing. It's interesting. Yeah, that's what happens when you bring a, a New York Yankee to Virginia. Crazy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vlog section. Now we're gonna get into reviews, thoughts, and what can improve this festival next year if we have this festival next year. I hope we do. I had a effing blast, first of all. I do not wanna come off like some people on the internet, which I feel are just, I feel like they just wanna complain. I understand some of the reasons for complaining, and some of you have good reasons for it, but it was a fun ass time if you actually got there. And when I was reading on Thursday, the first night was Thursday, I got to say, man, I was nervous because I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm trying to get tips on going, you know, with traffic, this, that, and the third for when I was going on Friday. I got a three day pass. And all I'm hearing is people comparing it to, um, the the fire fest uh, i'm sure you've seen the documentary fire fest if you haven't watched it it's pretty crazy this was nothing like fire fest i've been to all of the damn festivals you name them i've been there this was a pretty good <laughs> festival minus getting there the first thing is getting there after the first day i felt like i was jumped because you're walking already a lot. You had about four to five different stages, which was cool. Um, but the whole thing was is the fact that you had to walk. Like I, I felt like we, I walked like an hour and a half just to get to the event. Uh, parking wasn't that bad, but we left early. We got there super early. We were there at like, I would say 9.30, 10 o'clock. Because I was reading all the stuff that was posted on the internet. So I was like, okay. Well, if everyone's complaining there's nowhere to park, they're having a hard time parking, then I got to get there early. Clearly, you go there early. What's that old saying? Early bird gets the worm. You don't want to go that early, but let's be real. There, we we know from the reports there was going to be 30,000 plus people. That's what the news was saying. So 
Think about 30,000 plus people going to an event in Danville, Virginia, which um, there's really not much going on in Danville, Virginia. There's really not much even there. Um, no offense, you know, it's it's um, a more relaxed, chiller environment. So, you know, you got to put all this in perspective. And I think there was a lot of people that never been to things like this before. So you didn't know what you were getting yourselves into. So I think that's why some people are complaining like crazy. Um, and um, I'm glad y'all were complaining because at the same time, it, it helped me like gather my plan because you got to go into these kind of festivals with a game plan. You got to realize that people that are going to be playing on one stage is going to be playing on another stage that you want to watch. And you really have to come up with a whole game plan when you go to festivals. So keep that in mind, too. This is actually going to be a video like tips on going to a, fe a festival. Uh, you know, I, I had my bag right here, the translucent bag. I'll tell you one cool thing is you definitely want to when you get these clear bags, bring bring a Sharpie with you because you don't know who you're going to meet. Uh, I got yeah, autographs from Anthrax, you know, uh, I got, I got, I got autographs from so many different people, just, you know, just walking around from one stage to the next, you see someone and, and, you know, they may sign your bag. So just a little tip right there. When you're at these shows, you may see, I've seen artists in the crowd, you know, they, they wanted to see the bands, you know, you know, just a fun tip. Um, and um, when you go to these festivals, most of the time they're going to make you have these plastic translucent bags. You could get these on Amazon for cheap. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. This bag was pretty kick-ass. It was really nice. Um, but the big issue for me personally, the walking, because you're already walking miles and miles and miles when you go there, right? I was, I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting to walk like an hour, an hour and a half to the venue in 90 degree heat already so what by the time you get there you already put some miles on and then you got to walk all the way back you know how tired you get at these things i was exhausted we woke up in the morning at the hotel and i felt like like shit man i felt like i got beat up like um i, I didn't feel good my body was like shot you know uh so you know think about day three now you know when, I, when we that was the first day forget about day two think about day three and we weren't even going to go to day three, but I wanted to see a few bands. I wanted to see Pop Evil, that band that was playing with Phil uh, from Pantera. I, I seen them actually at this show right here. Um, this was the 1999 reunion um, with Black Sabbath and um, Linkin Park. And actually, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers showed up to that show. So I just, I've, been going to sh I've been going to shows all my life, you know, um, like crazy. Um, so I, I, I got a lot of experience with, with all different types of, um, environments with concerts. So, you know, I really wanted to see that they were going to play a vulgar display of power, but you know, that storm hit and he had issues. Totally understandable, totally understandable. Um, but also Bush wasn't playing and I, and my wife really wanted to see Bush. I, I like Bush enough to be excited to go see them. Um, so there was a big spread of bands that I didn't know who they were until then. So unfortunately, we left early that day. Um, and I know I'm all over the place. Just bear with me. There's just so much to, to gather and think. Um, so I'm getting back to the parking, right? Um, we got there early. We were able to park. That, but the problem was there wasn't, um, there wasn't enough buses and the buses were coming. It seemed like the buses weren't ready to go yet. Now... I think they should have had the buses going early. I know the event started at 12. I don't know if the doors, the gates weren't opening until a certain time, 12 o'clock. They got to get people in there early. They, they cannot wait. So if you have people there at 10 o'clock, don't have them waiting till, till 1130 or something to, to drive um, your, your, your audience, the people that pay tickets, because... Then you just have more and more people parking and, and more and more people waiting to get on these shuttle buses, which were school buses, by the way, for people that are curious. Um, it, that was a mess. It was a, it was a complete mess. Uh, I walked the first two days because, I mean, it, it's hot as all hell. Who knows when you're going to go to the actual venue. You, I kept hearing people complaining on Thursday they missed a lot of the bands, and I totally understand why. Because even if you got there early, the buses weren't moving. And I heard there wasn't even any shuttles on Thursday. Someone told me they just walked out. They quit. 
Now, that's alleged. I'm, I'm not running. That's not a fact. But please let us know in the comments. Um, but that that sounds like a hot effing mess right there. Uh, they, they have to be more organized with these buses. I've, I've never dealt with walking any farther than uh, maybe 15 minutes. Um, maybe 20 if I want to be generous. But that walk was was the first day walking over there. We, we were excited for it. But at the same time, who the hell wants to walk that far, right? But once we got there, we had a blast. It was so fun. There was plenty of bathrooms there. There was places where you could get water which was cool. They said you could bring yourself uh, a water container, a clear one. There was no issue with that. I didn't see any issue with that. They had food vendors. There was a lot of, there was a lot of people there. That you got to have more food vendors next year. And I'm sure there's plenty of food vendors that would love to be at that venue. And there was plenty of room for the food vendors. So double up the food vendors, maybe even triple them up. Uh, maybe get a food truck or two in there. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you got to have more food there. Um, and, and, and that's, that's important, you know, um, as far as beer and, and drinks, not that bad. Every time I went to go to get a beer, it wasn't a long wait, you know? So, so that wasn't bad. They, they, they did have a, a little area when you're walking into that circus tent where they had that freak show, which was freaking awesome. They better be there next year if they're, if they, um, have that. That was awesome, bro. It was sick, man. Um, and, uh, like, they had a few stores. They even had a vape shop, which was good because, you know, some people may drop their vape. My friend, um, she she broke her tank, so she was able to get another one right then and there. Uh, they had um, some, some um, other, like, merchandise type of tables there and stuff like that. The main merch area, a lot of people complained about that, too, because they were trying to get their T-shirts from the bands. By the time they got there, it was sold out. The lines were crazy. They got to have more merch tables. They only had two that I seen for the actual concert merch. And that was um, that was crazy. Unless it was, you know, the, the, the smaller bands. And I and I say that with love, not not no disrespect there. But, you know, the, the big bands, you know, the, 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 the headliners and then the, the actual tour T-shirt, like not the tour T-shirt, the festival T-shirts as a souvenir. People wanted that. Uh, the, the lines were so long and it was like one one kind of like tent kind of area where it was um, people could buy on one end, people could buy on the other end, but um, they just didn't have enough merch to fulfill people, and they only had that one section. Um, I hope next year they they figure that out. I'm sure they will. Um, but look, guys, it's a festival. It is not you going to Madden Square Garden or or one of these arenas. This is a festival. This is acres and acres and acres of land. You got to give these guys a little bit of a break. I see people complaining because of the dust. They're not, he's not God. The, the, the guy who did this and the team that put this together, they can't control dust. You know what I'm saying? So there was two things that I really thought that was really bad. Really, really bad. The, the first thing was the people that um, had some kind of disability. Um, I had actually one of my friends there. He, he was having a good time, but you know, it was really hot. And they had them in like this like concrete kind of area up on the, the hill. And they looked hot, man. Like everyone, they looked pretty hot, you know. Some some kind of coverage so that sun ain't beating on them all day. Uh, they want to have fun too. And they damn well deserve to have fun. Uh, maybe have someone go over there and offer offer drinks, you know. So they don't have to get up and go over there unless they need to use a restroom. Maybe even have a restroom area right by there. I didn't. I, there may have been one, but I don't think there was. Um, I know they did end up moving them later on because I, I went to go say what's up to my friend and he wasn't there. But um, they got to work on that because um, it, it was so hot. And I'm complaining about the heat. I can't even imagine just sitting on like, like a concrete kind of area um, just just um you know cooking in the heat there was one other thing um that really really um irked me really bothered me was and I, I know they didn't mean it in a disrespectful way but i just felt like i always try to put myself in other people's shoes and situations whether it's the people that do this show or it's the bands um 
or whatever the case may be. We're going to get to the camping. We're going to get to the campers too. Um, they had this golden circle. So basically, this is the, the, the front area. And then there would be a, a like a uh, fencing. It would be fenced out, you know, them barricades, the steel barricades. So it'd be one area here, and then there would be there, and then they would be there. The golden circle was like the golden, like it was like a, 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 like I've been to smaller venues where that was the size of the whole venue, you know, like it was huge. It was huge. So only VIP could go in there. Only VIP could go in there. And it was a shame. You've seen the Anthrax footage. Anthrax has sold so many freaking records. They've sold millions and millions of records. And because of this golden circle, and you could tell the band was 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 like, yo, this is we he even said it. This is weird. And it was effing weird. I couldn't imagine performing. I used to DJ for artists. I'm not gonna say which ones. You could do your research and all that. We I've been on tours. I have never seen nothing like this in my life where there's no crowd, there's not a big crowd in the front, and it's all in the back. Now I understand, because I know some of you that got the VIP are gonna watch this and say, man, F you, I paid for this shit. Make it a little smaller. Let's 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 split that in into one fourth of what it was. One maybe half. Because there was so much space and you are now kind of um making these um diehard fans that see all this space feel some sort of way. So there's so much space, empty space, and these bands are performing to dead space right in the front and then mad people in the back and on the side. It's got to be very un, un, un inspirational, you know, to, to perform like that. Um, and I felt bad for the bands. I'm not jumping the, the, the gate like that. I'm not jumping that shit. Uh, uh, when I was 18, yes, but I, I'm not doing that no more. And, and I, uh, my girl didn't want to jump over that shit either, but I can't blame people for jumping off. I'm sorry. You guys may say that's wrong, the ones that paid the VIP. I think it sucks for a band to not play in front of a full audience and then, but they could have had a full audience, but there's mad space. That sucks. And, um, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm sorry. It, it, like, like bands should not be playing in an audience where there's too much space. It happened with Megadeth too. You know how famous these bands are? Megadeth, <laughs> Anthrax. They've been, uh, Anthrax is celebrating 40 years of music. Multi-platinum artists, you know? And, and, and they should not be performing where there is dead space. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I, I, I went there for Anthrax. They are, they're one of my favorite bands. I've been listening to them since I was young. So excited to see them. And I felt bad for them. You know, I really did feel bad for them. Um, so, you know, you've seen a section. People were jumping. Even Offspring. I mean, the Offspring, they, they had mad space. It was insane. It made no sense whatsoever. So you gotta, you gotta cut that down. This is tough love. I'm not trying to be a dick, okay? It's tough love. Y'all can't be doing that, man, because it's not right for the bands. The ba I know y'all paying the bands, but at the same time, you want them to give you the a great performance. How the 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 band feeds off that energy of the crowd, and if there's just empty space there, it's kind of it's kind of really just uninspiring. Um, so they got to, they got to just, I like the, the golden circle idea. I think it's a dope idea, but don't make it freaking too big. It's way too big camping. So allegedly from what I kept hearing, there wasn't enough room for all the campers that paid to camp out there, which got to be horrible. They've got to work on this, um, whether they don't do camping at all and they just make where everyone camp parking lots. And then people could just park and then walk five minutes to it. I think that may be the best bet. But people enjoy the camping experience. And I understand that. Me, I'm a New York guy. I'm a Yankee. I'm not a camping kind of guy. So I don't understand. Um, actually, I do understand. I do understand. I take that back. Because I can already imagine it could. It, it probably is a lot of fun. You, you bring your grill. You cook in. And meeting new people. I, you know what? I take that shit back. I apologize for that. OK, um, but they got to figure it out where they're not overbooking if this is true. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to give false, false information. So, 
you know, I, tell me, guys, what was your issues? Once again, pass this video along, please. Uh, I do want to know. And, and, and this is this is an outlet for you guys to share your thoughts and your opinions. And um, I think that sucks that that people paid that money um, if it's true and, and wasn't able to camp there. Because I can only imagine the preparation for camping. It's got to be got to be some shit. I've never camped, but I can only imagine. Some people may have rented out campers. And then, and, 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 you know, you got your tents and then this and that. It's got to suck. So they got to figure that out. They got to figure out the traffic with getting to the place. Um, and I'm not talking about the traffic driving there because I had zero problems driving there. Zero problems. I think people that were complaining, I've been here for seven hours waiting. I think it would it had to do with two things. Y'all got there late or it may have been because it was that Thursday and they were bringing in the, the campers and all that shit. So you had the campers coming in at the same time as the people that were buying the parking spaces. That's too much going on. Y'all got to have the campers come in on like like days before, you know, days before they got to come in early. They got to come in early. You may have to make that mandatory. The show starts Thursday. They got to come in on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Because the problem is in this Danville area, there's not many roads where people can maneuver and get to the place. It's kind of like one in, one, one, one road in, one road out. So it, it's, a, it, it's a clusterfuck of just craziness. So that is something they have to work on. I mean, um, I try to stay positive, guys. I really try my best. Um... I hope that they, they do this next year because I had such a blast. I had such a blast. Um, I would like a few more um, m more big names there just in case people can't make it like like a Bush. You know, at least you have even more back, more people there um, because, you know, I, I should have just got the two day pass. I, I feel like the, I, I only I didn't I wouldn't have went at all. Um on that third day, uh, but I, I just didn't want to waste it. I traveled pretty pretty far to get to where where I got, so um, so I, w I was like, "F it!" And we were really, really like debating. We said, "Okay, we'll see if the shuttle buses are there. If they're not there, then we're just going home." Shuttle buses were there, um, so great people. I met so many great people. I had a great time. I want them to do this next year. I I want this to be successful, and. Um, I want people to, to try to stay positive. Um, I understand the campers, they want their money back. Shit, they should get their money back if they weren't able to camp. 100%. Uh, you know, um, some people, though, I think they, they went there too late. You got to get there early to these things. Okay, guys, you got to get to these things early. So keep that in mind next year um, or any festival. But um this is a different type of festival. Danville, Virginia ain't built for this shit. But it happened. And I had a blast. And I want to go back to Danville, Virginia. Shout out to Danville, Virginia. I had a blast. I want to go back. I hope I get to go back next year. I hope they do something next year. I'm rooting for you guys. I had an effing great effing time. And a lot of people had an effing great time. I'll tell you. You've seen the crowds. You've seen the video. The proof is in the pudding. People had an effing blast there. That place fucking rocked. But my body was rocked the fuck out walking all the way over the hour, hour, hour. God, my back was killing me, man. Like the next few days, it was crazy. Um, but well worth it. Great time. And we needed this. We needed this, man. You know, with COVID and everything, I, I mentally needed this. I'm used to traveling, going places. Um, I'm, music is my life. I love music. I love pop culture, I love metal, I love all types of music, hip-hop. I needed this so badly. This was like medication. I feel feel good. I feel effing good right now. Like, I feel fixed. <laughs> I got my fix. So I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And leave your comments and share this on, you know, all the platforms. Share this, okay? Love y'all. Subscribe, and I'll, I hope to see you soon. Oh! And I posted a ton of footage. So um, there's more. I'll put playlists. There, there should have been stuff popping up already. Have a blessed day, guys. Love is love. Be good to everyone, all right? And let's try to stay positive and try to figure out solutions, all right? That's the, that's the key of life. Problem solving. That's the key. Love.